حمود They've just bombed. They've just dropped a missile right now. Another bomb in the city. They're getting more military support. Oh my God! 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 Oh my
um, in, in such a great way with all the community together. We've had Christians and Muslims and people from church organisations, charitable organisations, all coming together to help us to achieve these things. I mean, my other best memories would be just the fact when we've loaded one of the shipping containers and the door shut and the seal goes on and the lorry drives off and then when we received the videos from Shaq over in Syria actually showing our aid being distributed in the camps and actually showing it being put into the warehouses. I mean, every time that happens, it's just like an elated feeling, you know? Uh, uh hello. Just received a container from Don't Hate Donate, charity organization from the UK. Um, today's date is 20th of February 2016. I'd like to personally thank Chantel and all her team from the UK, from Portsmouth for, for the, the aid that they've sent. Just loading, uploading in our depot right now at the moment as you see. Some pallets here and with the rest of them I'll show you in the truck outside. Aid. Thank you very much. We will not turn away anything that is of use. So obviously there are a few things that we don't, that they can't use out there. But other than that, it's not just about the acceptance of aid. It's not shutting down that positivity. It's not shutting down that, that um, positivity that people want to help out. Showing help and solidarity has no language barrier, nationality barrier. Everybody is included in this. There's obviously part of the community who believe what we're doing is wrong. Maybe we shouldn't be helping these people. Uh, you know, some people start slandering and saying that we're only aiding terrorism or, um, you know, things of the sort. But I mean, those people haven't been there and seen it for their own eyes, or maybe their conception of what's going on isn't very well educated. There were quite a few Brits in Leros when I was volunteering. They were like, yeah, we love the British because they help, like, they're funny. They're like, so they, they like that. Um, thank goodness they don't see, they don't see what actually goes on here where people um, go on like anti-refugee marches. Thank goodness that they are sheltered from that because that's disgusting that um, they don't want to leave. They have no other choice. And for people to say that they're not welcome, um, is utterly shameful so I'm glad that the ones that are good the ones that are real people that actually want to help or at least if they can't help because of their personal situation that they are at least open for other people to help rather than hating other people that want to help um, I'm just glad that most of them don't see that <laughs> There's a definite divide, there is, that's for sure. But yeah, that, that gets to me a bit, that people are just like, why are you helping people that are so different to us? Just because you don't see it and it's not on your doorstep, why should you close your eyes to it? Charity should begin at home, but it shouldn't end there. There's always potential to reach out to more people. I think sometimes we've been told the lie that we can't change anything. But really, if we all chose to help one person, then a lot, would, a lot would be changed. And sometimes we don't know the magnitude of what we do for people actually can affect their whole life, it can affect their future. Sometimes all it takes is just to show someone a little bit of love and they have hope to carry on when situations are really, really tough. I believe small charities can make a difference. Well, like you've seen from what we've managed to achieve in such little time, um, I believe that if there are more people starting up grassroots organisations and starting up small charities as our own, I believe we could make a massive difference. Show to the governments that maybe they need to do more as well. I mean, imagine if everybody did this. Imagine if everybody wanted to help out and not wanted to, actively helped. There needs to be a movement of people that wake up and think, actually, what better purpose is there to have in life than to help others? to be that privileged, to be in that position that you can actually help. There's just something wrong with a society that does not help. And to, to remedy that takes a whole community, it's not just a few people.
that just because everybody, just because many aren't doing that doesn't mean that I have an excuse. I am myself and I need to get up and do it. Brothers and sisters, um, we're still in the process of uh, moving the stuff from the depot. Alhamdulillah, 95% of the stuff has been moved. Only a few items are left now. And uh, Alhamdulillah, thanks for all your duas that um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it safe for us. So if you look outside, Yeah, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent rain then, you know, and then in the rain, these planes don't come out. So Alhamdulillah, all praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he's uh, protecting the ummah here. And uh, Alhamdulillah, we can do our job. You can see in the back of the truck, loading there, through the rear view mirror. So brothers and sisters, Jazakallah khair for all your du'as. Uh, may Allah reward you all and uh, inshallah continue support. We ain't gonna stop. It's not gonna make us stop. Moms, whatever it is. Alhamdulillah, our job here is to help the most needy. And inshallah, we will do what we can to help them. And you guys are also involved. Without your help, you know, we can't do anything. So don't get deterred by these moms. Alhamdulillah, you're over there, we're over here. If we're not getting deterred, we're not gonna stop. So inshallah, neither should you guys. So, um, once again, Zach and for all your support, for all your du'as, and uh, continue the great work that you all are doing over there.